Hey guys, I wanted to see if I could make my own home pizza oven similar to the Rockbox or Uni pizza ovens that you see around. After a few iterations, I got something that I think works awesome and can cook a pizza in 1-2 to two minutes, depending on how hot I want to run the oven. So this project took me a long time to finish. I worked on it on and off for the last two years. Looking back and editing this video, I think the video makes sense. I hope you like it, so let's get to it. Alright, I think this should make the perfect body for the pizza oven. Someone gave this to me a couple years ago and it's just been sitting around and then it just came occurred to me that this would be the perfect body for, for it. So what I've done on the bottom of the deck of the oven frame is I've welded in three braces that will hold the burner in place and I've tapped some holes so that the burner can be removed and on the corresponding burner on the top I've welded braces here with holes drilled and that will just bolt directly onto these brackets here that have holes tapped. The burner I'm using here is a wood-fired rocket stove. It's a separate build video that I'll link in the description below or in a card. Alright, so I got this flip back upside and the burner's mounted, nice and solid. So now a fire brick will be on the base 
before the oven sits on top of it, and then a piece of plate steel will go here, and which will be quote unquote the pizza stone. So what I have here is some 18 gauge sheet metal, stainless, cut half inch wide, and then here's one I've bent into a zigzag pattern, and this is gonna give me some surface area to hold on some refractory cement on the beer keg. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna weld pieces all the way through the keg, and that's gonna let the cement have an extra surface area to grab onto. Got all of those pieces welded in for a little extra surface area for the refractory, the cement to grab onto. All right, I got here a bucket of this castable refractory cement made by Rutland. So there's a label on the side of it that says, warning, this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer. I actually called these guys, one of their, I guess, product specialists, and they said that this is indeed okay to use to make a pizza oven. So I double checked with them, they said it was fine, and I asked them about this, and I'm pretty sure this is, they didn't come right out and say it, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the silica when it becomes airborne when you're working with the product, when you're mixing it. So it even says right on it, build or repair fire pits and pizza ovens. Alright, so I forgot to put the back of the oven on and I'm going to reuse what I cut off the front and so I have a bit of a dome on the back. So here's the inside of the beer keg. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it looks a little discolored because different parts of it are still uh, curing. I had to do it in sections. I did one section, another section, just so that it was starting to sag. It just was easier to do it in sections. So this refractory, this Rutland's refractory, dries hard. And it, uh, it should work pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. This thing is heavy now. So we got a lot of thermal mass in this. So hopefully this will retain some heat. All right, so I got the oven in place. Next thing, make some brackets on the floor so it can be bolted to the frame, and then some brackets on the beer keg so it can be bolted to the floor.
Okay, it's burning real nice right now. We're about five minutes in. We're getting some nice heat in there. Because this is the first time I'm firing it, uh, on the refractory container, it said to not heat it up too quickly because there's still chemically bonded water to the cement. So we need to let this dry out. So I'm just gonna hold it here and then I'm gonna refire it another day. I also realized that it takes too long to heat up the pizza oven using the wood burner. I actually did some more testing and while I could get the oven up to cooking temperature, it took like 30 to 45 minutes, which I found way too long being the impatient guy that I am. So what I did was I decided to heat the floor of the oven and also switch over to propane so I could get the oven up to cooking temperature in less than 5 minutes. To build these two burners, you can check out my other videos on how to make a barbecue burner and jet burner from previous projects that I have on my channel. So I'm going to make a propane burner for the beer keg pizza oven. What I've done is I've drilled out a hole here and I've experimented to see if the orifice size was uh, giving me the right burn rate. So I've experimented. Anyways, I've worked it out that this is... Uh, what I need is a 564 orifice hole that I've drilled out already and then a burn tube like that and I've experimented with it and it works great. I'm going to weld this on and put it all together. I'm running uh, it off of a low pressure regulator uh, under 1 psi with a very high flow rate of I think it's around 80 to 100,000 BTUs. If you're interested in how a burner like this completely works, I have another video on my channel on how to do this. Uh, I'll link it uh, in the description below or I'll put it in the card here or a link or something. This is the low pressure propane regulator. It's, it's under one PSI with a really good flow rate. So there's the orifice hole down there. It's a 564 drill bit. After some experimentation, that was the perfect orifice size. And then the tube itself is a two and a half inch schedule 40 pipe. I fabricated this bracket that will fit uh, on the base of the frame to the pizza oven and I've welded this up and drilled some holes so it matches what I've done for the wood burning rocket stove burner thing that uh, I'll need to perfect but for now I'm just going to switch over to propane to heat up the oven so it's the exact same as I did before for this. So I'm going to park this for now, I'm going to switch over to propane and at least get the oven up and running. You can check out a separate video on how I make these burners and I use them in an outdoor griddle but they work for this application for heating the floor of the oven as well.
I also made an oven door to help retain some heat. And while it's not completely necessary, it helps a tiny bit. So if you've made it this far, I have a couple lessons to learn from this project. I think I want to remake the stand for the oven to make it more in line with the shape of the beer keg and make it kind of streamlined looking. With the high-powered propane burner, I could have not lined the keg with refractory cement and instead had a thick steel plate as a heat deflector. The refractory cement is a bit overkill. Also, the wood fire rocket burner works well, but it takes too long to heat the thermal mass of the oven up to cooking temperature. Possibly with a redesign, it might work better. With the propane burner, I can have pizzas cooking as fast as I can get them into the oven. Not bad for a beer cake. Here's the pizza being cooked from start to finish with no editing.
sorry the video is so long, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and give it a thumbs up and share it if you like it. Okay, see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.